Thanks for logging into MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm meteorologist Dave Osterberg on this very hot and steamy Friday in Florida. Again, close, getting close to the peak of the hurricane season. Still not there yet, but climatologically speaking, by September 10th, we'll have reached the top of that curve and then it starts to drop down a little bit. But we still have a lot of the hurricane season left. We've got a couple of named storms. Of course, you have Grace, which made landfall yesterday, and it's about to make landfall again in mainland Mexico, and then that will rain itself out over the mountains of Mexico. But more important now, we've got Henri, and a couple of days ago, it did look like Henri was just gonna head out to sea. This is an innocuous storm, no big deal, but now it looks like this wants to make a beeline path toward southern New England, in a place that uh, does get tropical systems. It's been a long time, but they do get hurricanes and tropical storms. I and mean, look at these computer models, which in the short term, they agree completely in the long term not so much but a lot of the in the majority of the better tracking computer models are now bringing this up into southern new england as either a strong tropical storm or a category one hurricane on sunday here's the official forecast track from the hurricane center on tropical storm on bringing it up into perhaps the rhode island area around block island or just east of the tip of long island on Sunday evening as either a strong tropical storm or a category one hurricane and then kind of slowly turning it to the north and the east and if it hangs around for a couple of days up there that could cause a lot of damage even though it would weaken significantly it would still be a pretty strong storm indeed the future cast really kind of honing in on this path up to perhaps maybe Cape Cod some of the computer models a bit to the left of that and then working its way back out toward the east here is the european versus the gfs model and they're both pretty much in agreement that this makes landfall in the united states in southern new england somewhere with the european a bit farther to the east than the gfs i mean still a lot of time to watch this we're not talking about you know until sunday or sunday afternoon but the probability of this happening now is getting greater and greater that we're going to have at least tropical storm force winds, if not hurricane force winds, along the coast of southern New England. Now, in terms of Grace, Grace is going to be gone soon. Again, it's a Category 1 hurricane. Going to make its way onshore. Could be a 2 before it heads onshore, and then it should rain itself out into the mountains of Mexico. It's August. It's usually pretty active in the tropics at this time, and that's indeed what we have. Stick around. More updates on Henri throughout the weekend.